So good morning, everybody. Uh, obviously, I hope you know me. I'm Dan from Riverview. Uh, really happy to be joined by Dave and Ben from Free Agent today. Um, as you'll know, and, and things that we've shared a lot over the last what, couple of years, MTD or Making Tax Digital is going to be uh, a big thing for all, all businesses and all individuals as the couple of, as the next couple of years will show. Um, what we've always done as a firm is that we've sort of prided ourselves on trying to find solutions for clients that work regardless of shape and size. Uh, and that's why we've never really attached ourselves to one provider. So we're looking for stuff that will fit to your needs and make sure that you're both compliant, but more importantly, you get useful information, which as accountants, it helps us to give better advice to our clients as well. So I say really pleased to be joined by Dave and Ben. Uh, what Dave and Ben will be doing is they'll give us an overview of what MTD and in particular, uh, the income tax and self-assessment element of it, which is gonna come into effect from April, 2024. Um, give us an overview of uh, free agent and some of the key features and stuff that are in there that will make it uh, easy for, for you guys to be using that software and how that can interact within your business. And also uh, they're going to touch on uh, the relationship and interaction with one of the new challenger banks, Metal, uh, since the acquisition of Line West. Um, and again, how that can benefit you and, uh, and benefits of that can bring. So I'm going to now hand over to, I think Dave's going to lead, you know, hand over to Dave and we'll take it from there. So hopefully enjoy it. Do look in the chat box, do ask questions as we go along. We'll try and answer as many as we can. Over to you. Good morning. Morning, thanks, Dan. Thank you very much for that introduction. Morning, everybody. Um, my name is Dave Norwell, so I'm the business development manager for Free Agent. I'm also actually an ex-free agent user, so I've been in very much in your shoes. I think the aim of today is twofold to, to give you a kind of brief scene set of what MTD ITSA is. Um, it's something you'll be hearing about quite a lot over the next year, two years. Um, and then obviously how free agent fits into that. And hopefully. Um, you'll come away from today with, with some confidence um, and some of that fear factor, I think, taken away, because I, hopefully what we're going to present today is a, a very inexpensive and, and an easy solution. And hopefully, which, has, which is actually fun to use as well, which I think is important. So just to set the scene quickly, for those that don't know, um, MTD, is the, or MTD is the government's strategy to get tax digital. So essentially the old days of being able to bring in paper records and, and working on receipts and things like that will be consigned to the past. Um, initially, VAT um, registered businesses have been targeted, um, but from April 2024, self-employed business owners, that includes partners and partnerships and also landlords, interestingly, um, will come under MTD. So essentially the nuts and bolts are, if you earn over 10,000 pounds from one of those sources, you will be caught under the MTD threshold. So by 2024, April 2024, you'll need to start using some kind of software. So free agent fits this market very well. So as I mentioned, I was a free agent user myself. I worked for several micro businesses. Um, so three, three employees max, sometimes one, sometimes two. And, and free agents very much designed at, at that demographic. So it's really aimed at very small businesses. Um, to be able to do the day-to-day -day functions and, and to make it very, very easy for you to do and not have to think too much about. And, and when Ben does the demonstration um, a bit later, we'll kind of look at that, how easy it is to use and that you can even use it on your mobile phone, for example, if you so wish. So if you fix any of those, any of those kind of uh, tags that I've attached there, so if you're a sole trader, a micro business, generally service-based or a landlord, free agents are probably going to be the, the product that fits you best. So as Dan mentioned, I think every small business is, and I know I did, has their eye on costs, that every cost is a cost. Um, the good thing about free agent, um, we're fully owned by NatWest. So we're a, a fully owned subsidiary of the NatWest Bank. Um, so that means if you're a NatWest or an RBS business banking client, you get free agent free um, as standard, which is great. Um, but there was always that kind of, I guess, a bit of a, a, a bump in the road where people may not want to open a fully fledged NatWest business bank account to get free agent. So what NatWest have done is they've created a challenger bank, as Dan mentioned, called Metal. So that's the third one you see down there. So Metal is in Metal, not as in the, the substance. So what Metal is, it's an online only free challenger bank and it's free. So there's no transactional charges and there's no monthly charges. Um, and you get free agent free of charge. 
So in essence, that kind of how much will this cost me question, the first answer we'll, we'll give two days is essentially nothing really. You can open metal and it takes very, very, it's a very, very quick opening process, typically 24 hours, but we're hearing increasingly of times of two to three hours to open that account. Um, you get your account number and sort code through and you can get free agent free of charge as well. So, you know, it's one of those that, to be honest, um, although it's 2024, um, what I was talking about with Dan a couple of months ago is actually getting clients like yourselves used to using the software. Obviously, it's a legislation thing. So HMRC want us to do this, but there's also a benefit as a business owner, I think. And what we see when Ben does the demo is actually these products make us run better businesses. I know anecdotally from my experience, the, the business I first went on to software, so free agent with, was far, far more successful. I was far more in control and I didn't have those kind of sleepless nights wondering what was due and when. So I think although it's a legislation thing, what I want, the message I want to get home today is also there's a, a real benefit of using software. I think one of the main important things, the thing we get most is help. Um, the situation with free agent is that you're not going to just dumped on the software and expect to crack on and and, and that's it. What we really try and do at Free Agent is to give you some support, to give you um, learning resources and to kind of address that in, in whichever way you are most comfortable learning. So I've picked out a few here. We've got a free dedicated telephone support line, which is unique in the market now. Um, we've got online training. So if you prefer to go home at night and watch a video, we've got that as well. And um, we've got live chat. So that's um, chat within the app. You can just go in and there's a chat bot there. Email support if you prefer. Um, and there's also lots of automated learning journeys. So as you get on the product, it will kind of breadcrumb you through the product, showing you, for example, how to do an invoice, how to set up your bank account. And it would do that quite um, in a nice kind of gradual way as you, as you learn to use the product. We've also got a new function called Book a Call. So that means we give you a diary link, which Dan will share in the follow-up email after, and it allows you to actually book your own training. So for example, if you know you're gonna be free Friday afternoon, um, kids maybe at, at clubs or something, that's your, your spare moment. You can book preemptively book a session and say, I want to learn about invoices, maybe expenses and how to get my logo on the invoice. And our team will take you through that on a one-to-one -one basis. So lots and lots of support to get you onto the software, but also to get you comfortable using it. And you can have as much of these support as you want. You know, learning is not, you know, it's not a singular thing. You don't have a lesson like today and then go away knowing it. It will be that kind of drip drip approach. So you've got all those resources to go back to and, and they're completely free of charge. There's no charge in any of those, whichever, um, whichever support service that you choose to use. As with every product, I guess you've got lots of cho choice as a consumer on the market. Um, we've done a lot of work on free agent, um, especially since the bank took over in 2018. And lots of investment has gone in. And our trust pilot score is the highest on the market now. So the, the users such as yourself that use this rate is really, really highly. 4.7 is a really, really good score. And I think it's important that you, you not only want to be on a product to be compliant, but you want to be on a, a product that's well rated and that is highly thought of as well. So before I hand over to Ben, there's a couple of options that Dan will, will uh, share in the follow up, a kind of call to action. You've got a couple of options, really. The Metal Bank account is, is open now. It's really easy to do. Um, the workflow is that is if you as the client opens the bank account and then Dan and his team will be able to provision the free agent license for you. So you can actually get onto that as soon as you want. And as I say, there's no charge at all. And it's probably the, the route I recommend. Um, it doesn't matter if you've already got a bank account. So you might have a Barclays bank account that you're using. Um, you can open the Metal account as well, um, link it into the product and you still get a free license. Um, so there's no kind of catches there. Um, you can still use Metal and Free Agent if you've already got a bank. Um, the, other, the other option we've got, and we're going to arrange with Dan's team after, is we're going to give a, a month's free trial on Free Agent. So what Riverview, Riverview will be able to do is to activate a license for you for a calendar month, so maybe the whole of April. You can have a go at the product, have a try, see how you like it, you know, proofs in the pudding. Um, start running your business through it and see how you get on. So both of those are completely free of charge. I think we're very confident in the product that usually when people start using it, um, they stick with it. Um, and it's something I'd really, really encourage you to do. Um, I'm going to cover a little bit at the end on landlords, but at this point, I'm going to hand over to Ben and, and we'll, we'll see what we really came here to do today, which is to look at the product itself. So Ben, I'm going I'm to stop sharing now and, and hand over if that's okay. Thank you very much, Dave. Welcome, everyone. Uh, so let me share my screen, do that one, share. 
So as I can only see you, Dave and, and Dan, can you see my screen? Okay, should be the free agent license. Excellent. What, what you might need to do, audience, is sometimes if in Zoom, you might need to go to the view options and fit to screen. So if it's looking a bit funky and it's not quite fitting the screen, if you look at the top, there's a view options option. And if you click on that, it says fit to window. So yeah, you might need to do that. Cool. Uh, so what I'll do is um, I'm going to split this demo in, in two. I've uh, managed to get my, my mobile phone onto my computer, so I'll be able to actually show you in the mobile app. But what we'll start off with is just giving you a, a bit of a, an overview of uh, within the online app on how easy it is to do like the basic functions that you're going to want to do, like adding your customers, suppliers, adding a sales invoice and, and, and navigating around the software. So this is this is one of my demo accounts. Um, it is I've been fictitiously running it for about three or four years. Now, one thing to know about free agent is that it tries to not use accounting language within the software. It tries to use terms and and phrases that or everybody would be able to understand, and that really helps with making it a lot easier for you. So when you log in this is the screen that you would be greeted with. Now you can move these around because you might value bits of information that uh, for instance, your accountant Dan uh, might not find uh, as important and vice versa. So what we've got here is we've got a quick snapshot of what your current, how you're doing this year. And then what we've also got is a tax timeline. So depending on whether you're a sole trader, a partnership, uh, a limited company, a landlord, this tax timeline will reflect your liabilities depending on what type of business you are, and it will show you what's coming up in the coming year. Now, I'm going to steal a bit of Dave's thunder and, and mention landlords quickly on this, So and MTD. So when you start earning over £10,000, you're going to have to do quarterly submissions. And this tax timeline will show you those quarterly submissions when they're due. So it will show like submission one, submission two, et cetera, et cetera. And it will detail when they have to be submitted for and by as well. So you'll be able to very quickly see, oh, I need to have got all of this information over to Dan to make sure that everything's tickety-boo. Um, next port of call, um, contacts. So this is what we would call your what you would call your customers and suppliers. Now, if you're going to be using the sales invoicing within free agent, you would need to add them. And if you've already got a big long list of all of your customers and suppliers on a different system, you actually like the look of free agent and you want to use it. It's very simple. We can we can get those ported over for you just on a simple CSV. And I was in a practice a few years ago and I, I uploaded 1500 of them. So it doesn't matter how big your list is, it only takes a couple of minutes to get that information onto an Excel spreadsheet. And it's just the case of then click import contacts, you select the file and you can then upload them all and all of that contacts information. So name, address, all of those relevant bits of information you want will already be in there. Then when you actually start adding further customers, you just click on the green button. And it is just a simple case of filling out all the information. So first name, last name. If they're a limited company, you would put in the organization's name um, and you just then fill out all of this information. You can set all of this up to then filter through to the rest of the software. So you can set default payment terms, et cetera. Once we've then done that, each of your customers or suppliers has their own like portfolio page. So you can then easily view, say for instance, you want to look at how they've been doing their sales invoices, how they've been paying, if they've got anything overdue, it will automatically just filter those out for you. So you can just see who's who owes you money and when. And a really nice feature is you would then come into your statement of account and you can then either just view all transactions or just open or overdue show statement and you can then see well actually this client owes me this amount of money uh, and everything 
And if you happen to use any uh, companies that are outside of the UK, it will then split them into the different currencies as well for you. You can also then send this out to your client or uh, as either a PDF or via an email address. And setting up your email address within Free Agent is very simple. It's, it's pretty much identical to how you would on your mobile phone. You just click on your name, go into settings, and then sending emails, and you just click add sender email. And it's simple as that. And you just add in your email address and your password, and it will then do it, and it will just add you to this list. It's very, very straightforward. Would also like to say as well, um, if you have got any questions at any time, if you want to put ping them into the, the Q&A. Uh, so if you hover over the, the Zoom um, control panel next to chat, there is a Q&A. So if you have got any questions at all about free agent or anything in general, please do put them in there and then uh, we'll go through and answer them. So to get access to, to sales invoicing, uh, you come into work and you go to invoicing. So this is your sales invoicing. So as you can see, it's, it's all listed out. And the ones with green tell you the date that it was paid, red is overdue, and orange is not yet met payment terms. So you can see this, this one here is, is due in 21 days. Within Free Agent, we try to make everything look and feel very similar. So if you uh, need to do an action, it's normally nine times out of 10, a green button that you click on. So to create a sales invoice, you click on contact, and this is your list of your contacts, suppliers, customers, and you just pick whichever one you want to create. And then you just go through and you fill out all the information. So one thing you'll find quite handy within Free Agent is once you've set up your email, you can then set up templates to automatically send out sales invoices. You can then have them automatically chase. And then once they've been paid, you can then also have that automatically send out a thank you email as well for your client, for, to your customers. So then you're not having to do all of those additional tasks. It's all automatic and you only need to set those up once and you just tick these like so. And then that'll turn it on for that sales invoice. Once you're happy with that, you just click create new invoice. So this is my uh, sales invoice at the minute. So my company logo of me playing rugby um, and then my customer information. And as you can see, the invoice is currently at zero. So to add an item, again, press the green uh, button and then you've just got a choice of you just fill out all the information. Now, depending on what type of business it is, if you keep on selling similar things over and over and over again, what you might find handy is that you can fill all this information in and then just click add to your price list. Give it a name and then you have this handy little drop down menu from here where you can then select an item and it will then automatically populate that information for you. So you're not then having to continually type it all out. You can then either add another line or create and finish. Once you're happy with that, it will just add that information onto that sales invoice. So because we've turned on all the automatic uh, emails, as soon as I click send now, that's it. You then get a nice little handy email history here where it will then try and send this email, uh, this sales invoice to that customer straight away. You don't have to worry about it. And under status, it'll either say sent, um, it will either say bounced, or it will say delivered. Uh, it, it doesn't have a read receipt in it though. If you were to then send a subsequent one because they say they didn't get it, it will then give you another line on there as well to say that was sent. Out of pocket expenses. Um, so this is if anything that's gone through um, your personal bank account or even mileage claims. If you, if you do a lot of driving about, it's very, very simple. You can just click again, green action button, and then just click mileage claim. So with the mileage claims, uh, only you can only really use it if you pay yourselves 45p and 25p. It automatically moves over onto 25p after 10,000 miles. You don't have to worry about trying to split that transaction down. The software will do it all for you. And then if you are VAT registered as well, we have HMRC's fuel rates automatically built in, so you don't need to worry about trying to manually calculate all of that. Again, the software will do all of that for you. And it's just a case of just filling out all the information. Now, what I'll show you in the um, mobile, uh, through the mobile app, 
is that there is a feature in there where you can take pictures of purchase receipts and purchase invoices, and you can then uh, save those to the files area. So each of you will get one gigabyte of free file storage. You can click choose from saved files area. And because you've done it through the mobile app, it will then scan the amount and the date. You can then just quite easily click attach selected file and you can then view that straight away for you. And it's quite quick and simple. Um, you can do that on expenses, bank transactions and bills. Um, so it will then pull through all some bits of information for you. Now, when it comes to banking, um, we've got two features within banking. Um, so cash flow, this, this is just a rolling 90 day forecast of how you're looking uh, in 90 days. And it just looks at your incoming and then your outgoings. And then it gives you what you expect it to be in 90 days. On your bank accounts, you can have all your different bank accounts listed on here, and you've got a, a star function. Uh, so this star just means that that bank account is your default account. If we then, uh, as you can see, we've got different types of accounts on here. So you can have petty cash, HP accounts, uh, till takings accounts, and also international accounts if you have them, and they'll show in their native currencies in here as well. So if we just click on uh, my bank account, um, if the if you use the mobile app, it's a lot better uh, to set up the bank feed through the mobile app, and I'll go through the reason why. But to do it on the web app, you just click enable bank feed, and then these are the bank accounts that we currently have available with an open bank feed. You can also use Starling, Revolut, and Monzo as well. Now. The reason why we only have these amounts of banks uh, is because free agent owns and operates all of the bank feeds. We do not use a third party for the bank feeds. The next two banks that we're going to be working with are Co-op and Metro, um, but we're in a holding pattern there. They're currently working on that. And all it is a case of is you select a bank account and you then select whichever one it is. Now, I'm not sure if you're aware, but what happens with an open bank feed is that it's um, governed by the government that every 90 days you have to reconsent it. So what that means is you have to basically allow, give permission for free agent to continue talking to the bank and to pull your transactions through. If you're doing it through the web app, you have to keep on logging in and having to input your online banking credentials. And this is where the mobile app can really, really uh, come into its fore. And when we go on to the mobile app demo, I'll, I'll explain why. But all you do is you click connect to my bank. And then it will take you through to, in this instance, NatWest, where you put through your customer ID and name. Once in there, you then select whichever bank account you want. It will then bring you back into free agent. You select the start date and then you just click connect to my bank. And what it will do is it will then start pulling through transactions from whenever, whatever date you wanted. Oh, let's just go back. So when you start importing transactions through Free Agent, we've got a couple of systems that mean that we try to help you with the workload. Um, one of those is what we call guest rules. And what that does is that looks at your transactions that have, you've done bookkeeping for, like sales invoices, and that will then help match those against it. One thing to note, any transaction that we free agent automatically matches, we do not lock. It, we always allow you to um, change the transaction if you don't agree with it, if you are doing the bookkeeping. I think that's pretty much on a high level, unless there's anything else you think I should go through, Dave, Dan? Um, is it possible just to show a bank like the bank transactional information just so they can see potentially the, the what it looks like the I don't know maybe a previous month? Yeah. Um, yeah. So when you use it, so this is all done via a manual CSV because this is a fictitious account, so I can't have a, a bank feed on it. So when a transaction pulls through, you'll have whatever description you see on your bank statement that will be pulled through into free agent and it will just pull through the amount. Now, when it comes to say sales invoices, take this 27,600, you can click on it 
And if it's made up of multiple sales invoices, all it is a case of is clicking invoice on the name and it just gives you a list of all of the ones that you have got open or overdue. And it's just a case of selecting one, save changes. It will deduct the amount from the next one, uh, from the total, and you just keep on going through until you've then selected uh, all of them. And it's as simple as that. You just click on a transaction and it will then give you information for that. And you can then uh, select the category. So that's your um, expense accounts, codes, admin expenses. Uh, so it splits it out to normally VATable at the top. You've then got normal zero VAT, and then you've got cost of sales and taxes at the bottom. So it's very simple and very easy to navigate and explain transactions through. Um, what I think I'll do now is if I just stop sharing and I will then reshare and jump over onto my mobile phone. I think the good thing about the mobile, Ben, is you set that up just to explain to the to the crowd that um, historically with something like FreeAgent, you'd have had to, to use the web app. So when I first started using FreeAgent, I'd usually pattern was come home in the evening and do my bookkeeping and, and send my invoices. I think now more than ever, and especially with kind of it's coming up, the mobile is the one area I think as a, as a customer, you should really be looking at. What we've done is completely rebuild the mobile app. So essentially what Ben will show you is that all the functionality that he showed in the desktop version there is now available in the mobile. So for instance, you could actually not, not log onto the, the desktop version at all. And I think behaviorally, what I found when I started using the mobile app myself is that, because I was doing it when I was having a coffee or when I was waiting for the kids at school or, or on the train to a client that you find you do these bits and pieces there. So I think kind of really highlighting this point here that if you do try a free agent, definitely, definitely download the mobile app and, and Ben will show you why. Cheers, Ben. Thanks. Cheers, Dave. So this is the mobile app for free agent. And we've tried to, again, give it a similar flow to how the desktop app looks. Everything you can do in the desktop on a computer, you can do within the mobile app. The only thing you cannot do in the mobile app is submit VAT returns. You would need to do that through the web. Now, it's all run through this green button uh, with a plus sign at the bottom. That gives you your main menu where you can do all of the different expenses, mileage, invoice, estimates, bills, contacts. Every, some of the things that I showed you earlier, you can all do through that. If we look on the bottom, it's all split out. So you've got money out transactions. So you've got your expenses and your purchase receipts. You've got money in transactions where you've got your sales invoices, any estimates that you will, uh, have done. With estimates, you can just click on the estimate if you've done one and you can then all just click convert to invoice and it will automatically just move that over to an invoice for you. You don't have to recreate it as an invoice. And then within banking, you've got the same list of all your different bank accounts quite easily. So. So to set up a bank feed within the banking, you just click on it, click on the three dots in the top right, and then click enable bank feed. So this is where the mobile app really trumps over the web app, because if we then select, say, NatWest again, and then select one of the business or that, instead of us needing our online banking credentials, all you need is a fingerprint, thumbprint, face ID or passcode, and it will then take you in to your mobile banking app. So say you've got Metal set up, it will then take you into Metal. And what you can then do is you can tell it, yes, I want to talk to this account and, and so on. And that's the same for reconsenting a bank feed as well. It's again, same uh, thumbprint, thing, fingerprint, face ID, passcode, and it will take you into your banking's mobile app. That is, of course, as long as you've got the mobile free agent app and banking app on the same phone. Uh, if you don't, it will just take you through to the banking website. Again, if you want to create a, a sales invoice, you can either come into invoices and, and create one through here just by clicking on um, the plus sign top right and click new invoice or credit note. And it's an identical layout. Again, it gives you all the same options and you just literally click create invoice and it will take you through to the invoice layout where it will then say add invoice item. And again, it's as identical to how it is on the web app that I just showed you, but you can do it on the phone. So if you've just come out of a client and you just want to 
whip together some notes on a sales invoice. You can do that quite quickly, sat in the car or while you're on the train home. And you can quite easily do that without having to wait to go see, uh, do it all in the month end. Again, on your phone as well, you've got the tax timeline, which again, as I explained earlier, it shows everything. So it gives you a nice insight into what's coming up and what you've got to, to prepare for. And again, you can see cash flow, operating profits as well. If you just want, you don't have to go into the individual items, you can just click on the green plus. And if you wanted to create a contact, you can do. And again, it will take you through identical to what's on the website. You can then pull that through and do all of that on a single uh, mobile app. If you then wanted to look into a contact, see how they're doing, you can see, and you can see totals, invoices, you can create a new invoice from here, bills uh, and estimates as well. If you click on the three lines, this gives you your, your settings. You can click on bank connections as well to then connect your bank account. Again, because this is a demo account, I can't actually connect that up. I think that pretty much covers the banking app, Dave, unless you've got any. Well, I think it'd be really helpful, um, Ben. I know I'm not sure how kind of obviously you'll have to explain the process rather than show it, but um, we've got a feature called Auto Extracts um, Audience, which is essentially um, as you're out and about and you know how it is, if, you, if you, you, you're you quite busy and around a lot, um, sometimes paperwork, so historically probably kept receipts, etc. It's always a pain. I know when I was historically running businesses, it was the bane of my life because I'd always lose them and cover them in coffee, etc. So we've actually got a new feature that Ben's going to just quickly show here called Capture for Later. You see at the bottom of the menu there. But yeah, Ben, I think in, in terms of yeah. usability, again, that's a really good one to show because um, it does save a lot of time. And I know a lot, a lot of uh, excess paperwork. Yeah, good point, Dave. Um, so at the bottom, you just click Capture for Later. Um, so what this does is it will scan a receipt and it will pull through the date and the total of the, in, the receipt. And you can then either create the transaction there and then or save it to your files area. So if we just click continue to camera and then it will look for receipt. So I took my daughter to Alton Towers yesterday to go to see Beebe's Land, <laughs> uh, which was great. I got to meet Dougie. And as you can see, while I've been talking, it's just scanned the receipt and shown that on the there. So you can see uh, everything in a the theme park is extortionate. So we bought some Hey Dougie uh, briefs uh, for four pounds. So you can see when we then click done, it will then um, give it a file name. So what we recommend on this is that you put in the name of the vendor and the actual date um on the receipt so it was the 22nd third 22 click done save to files and now you can see it's now shown as the files area so what happens now is that is actually um talking to the um software that we use to the ocr software so uh to the, that is actually reading the receipt and then it takes about two to three minutes, can take sometimes longer, um, and it will then scan that and it will then show up the information like it's done here, um, the £30 uh, and the on the 12.jpg. So you can then click capture another. Um, if we were to click on another one, it would then show us that that's the picture and it will then show 15th of December. That lightning bolt action is um, to show that it has been uh, auto extracted. And then all we do is to attach it to anything. If we click expense, we can then click choose attachment, camera, photo, if it's on your phone, you can then click free agent files. And there you can see it's actually done it already. So we've got four pounds and that, and we click on that. It shows us the receipt and we click, click yep, attach, continue and attach. You'll then have the view at the top of the receipt. And then you can then just um, select, so you can see it's then post pulled the date through and the amount onto there. And you can then put in the category and, and everything that it's, it's needed. And then you just click save. Oh, 
page, that's part of description. And there, it's as quick as that to create. To create, you could do that on, on a bill, on a banking transaction. So within banking, if you wanted to, and you've got a transaction that you needed to, to do, we can go into banking, say that one, and we can then attach that as well uh, on an unexplained uh, banking transaction. I think also, Ben, with, with the, um, if I pull it back a bit to ITSA as well, I think if you think about the way you, well, most of you probably work at the moment, which is um, every year you, you you go into Dan's place and you take in the paperwork, if you've got it in your, your receipts and your invoices. The difference with it, so as I said at the beginning, is that the the cadence, so the amount of times you'll sub, or your accountant will be submitting will be quarterly. So it's every three months. Now, um, the obvious kind of problem with that is that either you're gonna be taking in that paperwork for Dan every, every you know four times a year instead of one, so I think when we're thinking about the software and where it's going to be an advantage, what Ben's showing here is that that transfer of paperwork or having to rush to the office to get everything in, you actually know that I have to do. So I think obviously you've got the, the functionality itself, which is brilliant. But when we think about it and what it looks like, this kind of thing is going to be absolutely vital. I think one of the key items that we've seen as a benefit to clients using things like this is where it becomes a, a little and often job rather than a big task. Yeah. And I think I think it's yeah. fair to say, and you know, I say it as an accountant as well, is that often for clients, finance is always on the list of things to do. It just sometimes not always a priority. And yeah. it's one of those that if that slips, it becomes less of an interesting one to be doing for somebody if they've suddenly got piles yeah. of stuff to, to work through. I mean, yeah. you saw how quickly that was. So you could be stood in line at Costa, Starbucks, you've just purchased your drink, you've got the receipt in hand. And you could have took a picture of the snap of the receipt and have it loaded in before they've even got you your coffee or your tea, depending on what you want to drink. So it can really speed and make it more a bit habitual so that you're not then having to scramble around to try and find those purchase receipts at the last minute. Yeah, I, th I think the other key benefit, you know, and again, I've been as a consumer on the other side of it as well, is that I think especially for, say, trades clients, um is particularly good from the invoice raising point of view so you know i've had my boiler service by somebody and actually they've sent me the invoice whilst they're still sat on my drive um and again it just it a misses the opportunity to miss it and not invoice somebody but also hopefully it speeds up payment for people as well so you're not yeah. chasing somebody for the 100 quid for the boiler service or, or whatever that yeah. is as well so and, and, and speaking of um, of payments as well um we have integrations with stripe paypal go cardless as well so you can have those buttons attached onto the sales invoice yeah. so when you send that sales invoice out all that customer has to do is say yeah i'll pay via stripe for instance it, the payment details will come up and they can do it there and then so there's really no and an R in about oh should I pay it or not they can just do it straight away yeah brilliant that's um what I would say audience is that obviously I remember the first kind of run through a free agent I had and it, it is a bit of a head spin first of all um but you can see really all those main functions that Dan mentioned in there that really are not only going to make you compliant because that's what we're talking about today but also make you more efficient um, and, and, and it's a kind of product that genuinely it's the easiest to use on the market. Um, Dan, if it's all right with you, can I do a tiny bit, on, a little bit on landlords just in case there's yeah, that? Please, yeah, please do. So probably a bit to spend on that as well. So yeah, go, yeah. go for it. Okay. I'm just going to share my screen again. <clears throat> okay. So in terms of landlords, and I'm sure there'll be some on the call or watching the, the recording that this will impact, it's a bit one that's gone under the radar slightly. So if we think back again, if you're an individual with 10,000 pounds of income, that's not profit, it's income against you in, in terms of something like a property. So you might have a job, but you rent a property or you've got a holiday let or you've got uh, an inheritance. Um, and if 10,000 or more a year comes from that, then you will be under it. And you can see there some of the stats that HMRC have pulled, it's, it's quite chunky. So 1.3 million will fall under that. It's a, within that kind of casual landlord category. As you can see at the bottom, most of them are, are in the one to two 
to four um, categories. So they're very kind of low level. They're not huge portfolio owners, um, but they're still going to come over. Now, the good news is that similar to the, the free agent product that um, Ben just showed you there, what we've done at free agent is created a landlord version of free agent. So um, I'll show you a, a quick um, look at it in a minute. Um, it's very similar to uh, the, the main product itself. Um, the look and feel is the same. And importantly, again, you can um, use Metal to get the free license. So if your situation is at the moment, you've got a, a, a rental property and you might even be collecting that rent through your personal account. What you can do is you can open a new um, free Metal account, put the property through there, get free agent, and not only are you compliant, but also Dan and team will be a bit happier because they're not having to sort through lots of personal transactions. So two really good reasons to get them on. Um, and again, um, the property element comes out on the 29th of April um, from an accountant's perspective. So after that, you can ask Dan for a, a version of it and they can help you with that. Um, I'm just going to stop sharing there and switch over to another screen. Ben, if you can just quickly while I find the slide, if you can cover the kind of landlords apart from the standard kind of investments, so FHLs, that kind of thing, that would help to um, just kind of, because that might be a question from people. Okay, just on mute, Ben. Yeah, so I put myself on mute when Dave was talking, didn't want to get my dog uh, in that. So yeah, so when, when we launched the product, um, which is going to be launched next month, uh, at the back end of next month um we're, we're doing it in a, a multi-phase launch over the next two years uh so what we're going to be doing is initially it'll be for uh, single landlords uh multiple properties and then what will happen is we're going to then do joint ownership uh with so that say husband wife brothers sisters um best mates or whatever um split ownership 50-50 uh, to start with. And then um, after that, we will then launch a variable uh, percentage rate ownership. And then after that, finish how do that. For the joint ownership, you will both, you will only need one free agent license and you'll be able to submit both persons uh, submissions via that uh, one license. So you won't need one license for landlord A and another license for landlord B will all be able to be done through there. And as you can see here, this is a very, just a quick mock-up of the, the, the program itself. And you can see very sim similar to free agent itself. Um, so it might be using um, it already. Um, you'll be very used to it. So you can set up your property. Um, you could add your tenants through contacts and find out how much they owe or how much they need to pay. And then importantly in the banking section, and what you'll see is the categorization of property income in there. So if we go to the bank here, you can see, for instance, rental income there has um, been explained off, um, residential interest payable. So all those kind of costs that you did, property repairs, all the costs associated with being a landlord will be there. Um, and obviously, as the product develops, a lot of that will be automated. So in essence, as a landlord, once these are set up, you can almost let it run, well, you can let it run in the background and it will build up your, your the picture of your accounts for Dan and team. And if you come to the kind of year end taxes, um, those will be quite self-serving. Also, when you think about the, the mobile app, which we um, showed um, when you've got a repair or a gas service boiler or something, again, the workflow would be just take a picture of that paperwork and get it into the product. So again, with the rest of free agent, very, very easy to use. I noticed there's a comment from Matthew, I think in the comments, you know, the whole drive of free agent is about ease of use um, and, and not having to think too much about it. And as Dan says, kind of doing things intuitively and on the spot. So we're almost exactly on our, our 45 minute, um, our, our 45 minute time, which is impressive. I know, I think, as, as I said, there's a tendency to think you'll have to absorb all this. And as Dan will agree, there's no way you'll have done that. Um, are there any kind of questions initially from the floor that you'd like us to field now? Does anyone have, and, and there's no such thing as a silly question, so um, please don't be shy. If you've got anything, you can either unmute yourself and ask us, or you can type it in the chat box. And whilst, whilst people are doing that, if um, I, I think, again, the key feature with this, and it's about embracing it more than just compliance. So one of the things that from our landlord perspective, and we work with a number of landlords, is the basis of looking at that as a business 
and not just what it has been for a lot of people in the past, where it's sort of accidental landlords or people yeah. that have accumulated property through inheritance and things like that. Yeah. If you exactly. can if you can have that focus on it, using that information in the right way can then mean that actually from that perspective, you'll be able to make or um, or will be able to assist you as well with making better decisions around your portfolio. So, you know. Should you be getting rid of some properties that aren't working? Are there ones that are doing more that you should be getting more of that type of property and so on? And again, the better detail that people have within that, the, the easier it is to hopefully generate more wealth, keep more of your money in your pocket, and ultimately we can help you to reduce the tax around that as well. So, you know, again, there's major benefits from people just using good information rather than just being reactive to being told by HMRC that we have to do this. Quite agree. Yeah, hundred percent, Dan. I think, I mean, I learned that lesson not as a landlord, especially, but as a, a business myself. That the amount of time and effort I had when I was running traditionally um, was immense. But like you say, it was only when I started using software that actually those conversations with the account became kind of preemptive and actually talking about the business itself. Um, so, hundred percent, I think the value is in the software. It's not and, and the usage of it, not the compliance side. Yeah. So we have another question pop up here from uh, Graham. So it says, can you please just specify exactly what the charge is for using metal and free agent? Yeah. And can Riverview use the data to compile company account? So I can answer the last one. Yes, <laughs> we can use that information to compile the stuff and to advise and stuff more through the year as well. So yeah, that one. Yep. And charges, Dave. Yeah. So Graham, in answer to the question, so. I will mention the metal one again, because I do think it's such a quick and easy options to get it free. Um, but that said, if that's not your bag and you prefer to um, prefer to purchase the software. So because um, Dan and Riverview are, are partners with us, we offer them a preferential rate. So if you go on the website, the free agent website, you'll see 30 pounds a month, roughly. Uh, now, Dan's um, team will be able to get you at least 50 percent off that and, and probably more. Um, so to give you a rough idea, if you're a sole trader, it's around eight to nine pounds a month. And if you're a limited company, it's around 14 pounds a month. Um, and that's if you if you want to pay um, and that Dan's happy to recharge that for you. Um, otherwise, yeah, you can go direct onto the website and, and buy that yourself at the 30 pounds. But as I say, again, to be honest, Graham, that um, even for clients that don't intend to bank, I'll, be, I'll choose my words carefully, intend to bank with NatWest, the metal option, because they've not been... Um, dictatorial about switching banks or anything a lot of people are just opening that metal card um, and getting the free license um, as long as the metal is metal account is is in the software they you know there's no um, you're not breaking any rules it's um, to give you a fuller picture the bank's aim is that over time people will see the free metal account and shift themselves organically um, but yeah those are the two bits of I have a chat with Dan and team if you want to go for a commercial license but definitely look at the metal license as, a, as an option if that's if that's um, what you want. I think the key key thing for me, I think where, you know, from as Chat and Dave and where free agent sits and metal sits with it is that there are still, and probably more on the sole trader and property side of things rather yeah. than the limited company side. Yeah. The people that run their whole life through one bank account. Yeah. So, you know, that uh, we've always found gives an opportunity that things could be missed, good or bad. Um, and also from a planning and clarity point of view, it tends to be lacking because of everything else is in there anyway. So it becomes a little bit of a piggy bank, maybe for one of a better phrase, uh, rather than trying to plan for some of those bits and pieces. So I think for, for us and from the conversation that we've had, I think that's where that metal offering and some stuff we're maybe in that West really sits with that just to again give clarity ease opportunity to use that information better and if you have got clients done that are banking with like Santander, Barclays, mom and dad whoever and they need to change the bank account details on the sales invoice it's just a click simple drop down menu so they could set metal up in the free agent and then it's just a case of drop down menu put the metal and it will let select let you select that bank account so you can put that information on the sales invoice so then that they can just naturally uh, just gradually change people over onto that yeah. and i think that dedicated business bank account is a is a powerful thing i think probably i know i've done it initially where i used to uh 
naughtily rung everything through my, uh, as it was Abbey National, I think it was back in the day account. Um, and it just, it's, it's not nice. It's not comfortable. It's not clean. There's also the, you know, the banks at some stage, the, the, what the pandemic did was pull out lots of sole traders that were doing that and they have got their eye on it. So, you know, I think historically it was a difficult one because you'd have to pay for a bank account, a business bank account. Um, whereas obviously something like Metal is, is completely free. And, and as Dan says, you'll get the advantage of having it all separate out. Someone like um, Riverview can then give you good advice. You can see what's happening. Um, so the whole thing is much, much, much more efficient. questions from anybody else no it's good to see a few kind of even there's a couple of users on there dan that said that they weren't aware of some of that functionality so that's that's really good that they've taken away yeah. um yeah i guess um finally just that call to action again dan so to, to to for people to approach you if they're keen if you're watching the recording you want to try the products that will um activate that free license so genuinely um we'll do it for april so if anyone wants to try it in april no catch at all so if you get to the end of April and you decide it's not for you, we can turn it off. There's no charge or anything like that. But it, I think um, the proof's often in the pudding. Um, genuinely, genuinely, I was, um, myself as a user, it, once I was on it, I got it. Once I was using it for my business, I, I really did get it. It's one that you have to use rather than see, I think. So yeah, encourage you to have a go at that free trial. Yeah, excellent. And thank you both for your time today to, to go through that. It was a really, really good overview of what the software can offer and some of those sort of key features. Um, as Dave said, as a team here at Riverview, we're more than happy to chat through what that might look like and options. And obviously great to have that, that offer from you guys in terms of that free offering uh, through April. Um, but again, like I said, I think proof is in the pudding of trying some of these bits and pieces. And yeah, I just want to emphasize from, from our part is a case of, I, I know what I'm like if I'm told I have to do something. I tend to, I, <laughs> I tend to not like it too much. <laughs> you know, I do it, but I tend and to not like it. Plus well, one. <laughs> whilst you can, you know, you, we've got for some of these parts, obviously for MTD, for that, it's already been in place and it's mandatory from next week, effectively, for, for businesses. Um, for this stuff, because we have got a bit of a lead up time to it, I know that now if you're making an active choice to do something, you can iron out some of the kinks that might be there within your own processes in terms of getting the best use out of software and making it work in the best way so that when it comes about, it's then not a mad panic come March 2024 going, I've now got eight days to do something about it and I don't know where to start with it. So Again, we'll be hopefully doing more with Dave and Ben around these things as new features come out and demos and obviously the availability of the resources and stuff through free agent. Um, to again, just be able to show people what the benefits and stuff could be and support people to get to that point as well. Because if, again, we know some clients have really embraced it and already there, others are on their way and some have probably got a bigger step to go to in terms of seeing what it is but you know like i said there's some big benefits for running a business managing your tax and then compliance is just something that it, it happens to do as well cool excellent well thank you very much for attending cheers guys for running that um we're going to sign off so yeah. thank you very much and um, we'll see, speak soon brilliant oh, thanks, yeah. thanks everybody bye-bye cheers bye